how many of you know the word creativity and innovation can i see some hands raising up how many of you know a word called patents copyright and trademarks can i see him raise awesome awesome this is going to be an awesome presentation since from the beginning human has advanced through different civilization and progress exponentially according to the scientist calculation the age of our universe i can say milky way is around 13.7 billion years approximately whereas our age of our earth where we stay is just around 4.3 billion years the first ancestors arrived on earth just 6 lakh years back but very fortunately i would say it took only 3 lakh years our first modern human so called homo sapien evolved since from then to today tomorrow human civilization has gone to different curves and has always progressed and will flourish but when we start asking question how on earth was possible for humans to develop from nowhere to somewhere according to me which i strongly believe it's human curiosity which propelled humans to unlock the hidden potential of what was happening around the corner humans learnt everything observing from the nature be it discovering of the fire be it discovering the best tools and technology for his benefits and now we are talking about shifting our earth to the planet mars there's one guy in us so elon musk is trying to focus to sustain ourselves into a different planet humans have progressed from every aspects beat business beat health line beat everywhere else yes progressed in different industry domain sector but has stopped at one particular point which has not progressed much since the infiltration of technology in smart phones has made students be more active since they have information at the fingertips but the essence of learning the joy of learning in the classroom has lost its shine we can't complain since we belongs to generation x and y we are supposed to teach to the student of generation z people who are born after 1997 people who are born after 2010 they are our students but how do you engage them is it the way we are supposed to engage the way we have been taught or is it the way we are supposed to teach them the way they love to learn the question lies with us question is obvious you can't defer the question but the answer lies within us and the answer according to me is accept the change and when you accept the change things fall in place but no matter what happens the final answer is how do you make sure we are going to engage students with this thought a thought to make a revolutionary change in the education system fortunately i was able to introduce some of the best teaching methodology in our management education the innovation what we have introduced is apart from the regular curriculum what we are supposed to touch be it flipped learn classroom design thinking mobile learning learning through by social media especially instagram recently by introducing virtual reality into academics and also what we call today zoom google meet we implemented in our college in 2016 by skype on the contrary to acknowledge my effort you know i got some couple of awards like some few awards five global awards some small national and international award but the quest is always an unknown the quest to know the unknown will become my own objective but when i share this aspects to the people you now my own inner circle will keep on asking me arvind how is it possible for you to implement all these things engappa maadta idenella namage paata mugsode kashta agide how you are able to do this one 
but there is one catch and the catch is the secret is it's nothing like it's very personal during those time where i implemented all these innovations i was going through my own worstest depression i was having a lot of insecurity this propelled me to introduce me to think beyond who i am go out of my comfort zone introduce some of the best thing for the benefit of students in simple word i would say growth is my pain and pain was my teacher but as somebody told we never get what we want we always get what we deserve but things happened worst in 2020 and 2021 when i was going through deepest depression which was about to take my life which i never expressed to anybody else not even to my own mother but i was supposed to find a solution because this depression was created by me not by anybody else not by anybody's influence and i was searching for some kind of a solution to prevent myself going down just flipping through some of the concept on the online i found some very inspiration stuff over there students getting patent one girl from tamil nadu she has won a such a compliment where she was invited by the king charles like fascinated ishtu sanna makkalu maartare antandre why not me so this got an idea to thought okay fine there is something which i can do it for myself to the benefit of my student and i just analyze what who are my students who are my background of my students remember i am talking to a second semester mba students who are around 22 years of age majority are from rural background majority have done their degree from government first grade college no science background no engineering background forget about having a vision they don't have any dream at all just for m b a college ig bandru but these are my kids i can't deny them i cannot neglect them what the best i can do with them accept them love them nurture them and make sure they are going to be the voice of mine so when i analyze these things i thought one thing during those time i was doing all this patent stuff which i already applied it in the month of june to august i was able to get my patent published one night while i was devising certain things an eureka moment came forward if i can get a patent if a 40 year old faculty can get a patent why not my students rather than talking about something else outside the box i thought about me i just compared myself to what is happening if i can take this pain i believe i strongly believe my depression can go so i do this pain and i felt like there is only one question if i can do it why not my students i have done it but what about my students please understand i am talking to a student of 21 year old for them it's only the marks our curriculum has made such a aspect where if a person gets a first rank he is the top just analyze we'll get a best outgoing student award the majority of the award goes to an academician academic winner uh, to me according to me yeah he's done a good thing but is not worth for the best outgoing student so i had to prepare certain plan i had to chalk out certain plans and how do i empower them because when i start talking to a student sir what is patent we don't know why should i join with you why should i invest with you forget about everything sir what you are doing is not in our vtu curriculum why should i join with you why should i waste my head so these are the certain things i expected certain questions from my own student class of 60 people but when i shared the aspects we divided two aspects personal and professional i just only one told students who want to make their parents proud please stand up students who wants to make their country proud please stand up i did not told india i told my country i told those who are interested please join my hand while pushing my country to the global stage especially in global innovation index let's create something a very unique product which can uplift atmanirbhar or make in india concept 
we'll try to win some innovation award from the government of India. And when you talk about the personal things, yes, during those times in the June, when they're studying second semester, we had an idea of you know, applying for KCST project, because it's not done so far in our department, especially from MBA. This particular project is only for engineering students. Let's try for it. Let's win it. Let's go to the final and win the place. Let's also take some across during the project presentation, which happens in every college. During eighth semester, almost all engineering students give their demo to the entire public. Let's be there. Let's win the prize over there. Let's go to some paper presentation conference. Let's show our ideas. And as a matter of fact, the last aspect is considering all this idea, let's share our story on the biggest idea sharing stage on TEDx. So these are the, some of the thoughts. These are the, some of the ideas. Because none of these are a part of my curriculum. I teach marketing. I teach general management. None of it part of it. But yes, to empower student, these were the futuristic things which we never done anything. I am talking in a second semester, fag end of the second semester, Easterly, now we ain't no madrilla, just it was only a one dream to make your parents proud and your country proud. And to my surprise, I kept on shouting, Come on, stand up, who wants to make your parents proud? To my surprise, to my biggest surprise, 80% of my students rejected. I kept on shouting, Please stand up, those who want to bring good name to their parents and family, zipped it. And I was like, stunned. What is happening with my students? What is happening with the generation? But nevertheless, I am supposed to ask the question. I am supposed to ask the question. I cannot expect the same answer what I was thinking. But with all these 60 people, 44 people rejected the idea. And 16 people came forward and said, sir, we are going to join our hands with you. With that thought, on November 1st, 2021, I launched a new project. Remember, I just launched a project. I never told anybody that we are going to get a patent. Under the brand name of SETI with a code name of 115843. You may ask some questions, you may have some kind of a doubt. What is this 115843? According to the COSPI calendar, if you take the universe, which has happened in one single day, exactly at 11.58.43, human arrived. And that's why I kept this world. After all these things, we started with our journey from November 1st, and we went on explaining our concept to the people. With all this sacrificing our own time, sacrificing our own personal life, getting torn straight from the faculty, straight from the students, and also getting special classes in park, especially for the two months, especially on Sundays, from 8 to 1 o'clock, which made sure that you know, we are going to get what we always dream about it. And as a matter of fact, it was on the 10th June 2022, with one faculty, along with the 16 students, we got the two patent, which was published for the first time in Edgy Education Institute. <laughs> and now, when I say a patent published, to get a patent grant, First line is the getting patent published. The next stage is getting grant. So we are in the age of getting the grant now. So this was the first stage. I told we are going to challenge our B students also. Remember all our non-science background, BCom, BSc, BA. Few people are from the BSc, but majority are from the BCom. So we got the first patent published in the field of mechanical engineering. So what we did, we had some problem solution with the solo riders. You might be seeing people driving from Bangalore to Joke Falls or maybe from PB Road with a bullet on every weekends. So we found there is some problems with their health issues. So we try to understand because ideas, whenever we think about it, it is just a mere common sense, which we have to believe in it. And we try to get some kind of a solution to help their health, mobile connectivity, and also make their passage very well. So these are the, some of the you know, photos which we have done it, which we have published it. And the second thing is the other set of people, because in a patent, only 10 people are allowed. So 16 people was divided into two parts, 8 plus 8, myself in all the two groups. So we took the example of another one for agriculture. 
and we got a patent in biotechnology. Early BCom student, early BA students, so we are getting a patent published in biotechnology. So that means anything is possible, everything is possible. So the idea was very simple. We took the help of a mastic and we tried to want it to come with a new kind of a thoughts. So when we were going on the road, we saw some areca husk was flying down. We felt, can we do something from the areca husk? We know what is the essential of areca nut, pan masala, board, paper, everything we have. But nobody has thought about, can we have a commercial identity from an areca husk? So there was a couple of instances as somebody has done it on the areca husk, but we thought, okay, let's try with an areca husk. So we came with a new mastix, areca mastix. And this is the speciality of the areca mastic is it burns 45 seconds. When we take an example of a normal mastic, it burns around 20 to 25 seconds. But with our mastic, it burns 45 to 50 seconds. And now the promise has to be delivered. So first thing is when we get the certificate, make your parents proud. And you see this smile, you see their self-satisfaction of the price. What the students have given to the parent, it is just a priceless. To me, it's just a priceless. Second thing is, as I told you, we predicted we will go to KCST from the department of MBA. From the entire college, seven projects were shortlisted. Two from MBA, five from engineering. After two months of rigorous training, out of the entire seven project, only one project was shortlisted, and that was from the MBA, that was from the patent team. But we went to VTU, Belagam. Luckily or unlucky, I would not say we learnt in finals because we lost it. Second thing is, as I told you, we are going to display our products in the project expo. We did it. We won the second place in our college. Our students went to place their ideas in a different platforms, different conferences. We got the best paper presentation in RNA City, which happened in June, July this year. We went to Kirloskar. Harrier for the presentation and we got an applause. We got an appreciation for the ideas what our students have done it here. And as a matter of fact, last thing, to make our India proud, how do you do it? There's a one index called GII, Global Innovation Index, where it will give you a parameter of how a country stands in innovation. Luckily, when you compare the data from the 10 years old, from 80th position to the 40th, we have been ranked. In 2022, we are very fortunate, we are very lucky, we'd say that our project patent, what we have got, is one part of it. Lesson learned, what we thought about it, is students are always a student, but we cannot deny them what they are. It is only growing along with them make difference. But it's not only every time a student or a faculty makes a difference, it is the management vision makes a lot of difference. Management, when they have a global vision, can make a lot of difference in the student life just or mere concentrating on profit and loss, balance sheet, or getting just an accreditation, just an autonomous. Faculty with a scientist mindset with the students, if they can combine together, if they have a synergy together, I think there will be a biggest winning formula which nobody can even imagine about it. Now I'd say these are the promise what we have done it, and one of the promise what we have done it is share our ideas in TEDx event, and today it came our dream true. Thank you so much.